Thanks for watching. I hope this short video gives fellow hammer replacement technicians a few helpful tips. First, instead of a drill press, I use a milling machine for drilling. Second, the hammer wood is held in place not directly, but by clamping the hammer felt. Third, to prevent any movement during high speed rotation, I secure the hammer with a C-clamp. Here's why. Milling allows extremely precise drilling without the need for backing material, and it produces no burrs. Even if the hammer wood has side tapering, like genuine Steinway hammers, the felt clamp method ensures stable fixation. It works even when the felt cut doesn't perfectly match the wood cut, as seen in older hammers. Absolute clamping stability is essential for precision. This setup lets me visually align with the striking line while drilling. Conventional jigs often obscure the striking line, which can lead to misdrilling. For this demonstration, I used a rare Renner hammer from nearly 50 years ago, new old stock. As you can see, it's a B-type, or Beckstein style, with a distinctive shape. Because of that, I reversed the usual orientation and drilled from the back shack side. My jig supports all the functions needed for this kind of work. Let me show you the mechanism I used to hold the hammer in place. In most conventional boring jigs, the hammer wood is laid flat on a bed for drilling. This means the bed itself gets drilled through, often requiring a replaceable backing plate. My jig works more like a hammock. Assuming all hammer tails are shaped identically for the set, one end is hooked securely. The other end is visually aligned with the striking line, and the hammer felt is gently clamped from both sides, like striking a cymbal.